Well, increased levels of poaching are threatening one of Kenya's largest income earners, tourism. Well, this is the state of affairs. The African Elephant Coalition, a consortium of 29 member countries, is working round the clock to rid Kenya's elephant population of threats from ivory trade poachers. To end poaching, the body has proposed the closure of all ivory markets globally. This is the latest move to clamp down on rising cases of poaching. Katie's Ashley Mork prepared the following report. Ivory remains one of the most coveted pieces of wildlife commodities the world over. International demand for ivory and rhino horn is leading to decreased numbers of elephants and rhinos in Africa. Kenya is no exception. The biggest threat on elephants is agriculture because uh, there's a demand for agricultural land, there's a demand for human activities and that encroachment on the wildlife corridors and dispersal areas. Uh, issues we need. Increased demand from countries and regions such as Asia have fueled the growth in illegal wildlife trade. African Elephant Coalition says closing key markets will go a long way in addressing the poaching menace. We want the European Union also to close that market because again as much as we have blamed China there's a market ready in European Union. Researchers say that between November the 23rd and December the 14th, 2015, two-thirds of ivory in Africa were leaving through the port of Mombasa, Dar es Salaam and Zanzibar, going to China and Vietnam. The government it means we want to wipe out the population of African elephant, and which is dangerous to us and even to the generations to come. The decline in wildlife poaching is thanks to increased efforts by wildlife rangers to protect wild 